Hey everybody, this is Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences and this is Monday Minute. Okay, I see a lot of people making this mistake and they're creating stars the old fashioned way. Please don't download a star that is a custom model if it has five points and concentric rings. You want to make sure you have layers. This is very important for sequencing. If you're getting sequences from other sequencers, you're going to want to know how to do this properly. You're going to want to click on star. You're going to want to drag it over here. You're going to have to tell it in the attributes what are the total number of nodes. So we do that here, 270 nodes. Then you're gonna wanna make sure you tell it how many layers there are. In this one here, there are six layers. Once you do that, click tab, enter, move to another field. Now you can click on the chevron and you're gonna tell these that this is going to be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. And what you end up with is this here. That's what we want. What I want you to avoid doing is clicking on this and finding a coral prop from your favorite vendor and choosing something that's not going to help you. So in this case here, if we scroll down and we look for a, let's say a Boscoyo star and the equivalent star to the Gibber Engineering uh, 46 inch six ring is this guy right here. We'll insert this model and give this a moment and it'll pop up, boom. And here it is. These models look the same. They're not, and they're gonna behave very differently. You're going to love this model. You're going to hate this model. And the problem here is, is that this is a custom model and it's not gonna give you all the attributes that you want for sequencing or mapping. So avoid that. Um, can these stars be put in XLice download as a, as a native file? Absolutely. And, but it's just not done in this one. So I would prefer just to create one here all on your own. That's it, that's my Monday Minute, take care.